Welcome to this short presentation on Embase on Ovid. The topics that we'll be looking at during this short presentation. We'll be looking at some special techniques in searching and also some added insights into using limits. Often searching for a subject involves using subject headings for precision and depth and keywords for breadth of retrieval. Good sources of keywords for this purpose are the used for terms in the thesaurus and words inside the title and the abstract. While doing a search, observe the synonyms in the thesaurus displays and when viewing your first results, look for synonyms in the author's own words. Often the additional keyword searches build retrieval but not precision but they may be useful for older records before the subject became part of the thesaurus. Look at the scope note for details and for added medline records which may differ in their indexing. New terms are added to mTree in a dynamic way. New terms are added first as candidate terms before they are added as to mTree as thesaurus terms. Candidate terms do not appear as part of the mapping process or as part of the permuted index. They are included in the MP default fields as subject headings or heading words, or you may search or browse the subject heading or heading word fields. The mTree thesaurus is made of 15 mTree facets, which are similar to Medline's mesh, except the drug and chemical facet is much larger than the mesh uh, chemicals and drugs tree. The terms are usually plain English and singular and they're contained in an NISO style thesaurus. The M tree facets and the mesh trees correspond roughly and there is an M tree term for every mesh term plus many additional M tree terms for drugs and chemicals. But the terms may not offer the same level of detail. If you've done a search, you may want to look at the information on the scope note about that subject or look at the thesaurus display to see any synonyms listed there. And you may also wish to include the subject as a keyword by turning off the mapping tool and using truncation and wildcards. This can help to broaden your result and also to bring in earlier records. Embase uses the drug and disease subheadings to provide a role for a subject and selecting a subject subheading pair will provide a very specific result. But it is also possible to search for the presence of a subheading independent of any subject. Searching for the presence of a subheading on its own will offer a very large result but we can combine this with another subject to give a context to a subject. When I want to do a search in this floating subheading field, I first need to find the list of subheadings which are listed in the database field guide. And then I can go to search fields. I can choose to browse the floating subheading list. In this example, I'm looking at drug therapy and I'm also moving forward in the index to select therapy. And when we come back to that result, we can see that it's very large. But I'm using this first search to add to another subject 
and I'm using it to provide a subject context for my topic and we can see for the subject wine that therapy is not a permitted subheading but you're able then to see from that combination that enhances that idea of the therapeutic value of wine. The drug and device manufacturer drug and device name fields are part of the keyword fields in this database and are a feature of the database content. The manufacturer fields can be used to track down the manufacturers where necessary. To search retrospectively, of course, you would need to include all of the manufacturer names that have been used in the past. The drug trade name field is only used where a specific brand or trade name of a drug was mentioned and could be used to track down the dose form or the characteristics of a particular brand. Let's look at an example where we do a search and display the index and select from the list and do a search and we're seeing information specifically about that brand. The device trade name field is used where a specific brand or trade name of a device was mentioned. These can include medical devices and prostheses or drug delivery systems. Let's look at an example. I might want to, for example, compare two different inhaler brand names by first searching one and another and making a combination. Between 1 and 6 section headings may be assigned to each Embase record. These 47 headings provide broad subject areas which may be used to provide a broad context for a subject. These classifications are often used to provide a broad context for a search, but not all types of documents are classified. The institution field contains the primary author's affiliation, which may be used as a source for a reprint of the article. This information is not standardized and often contains abbreviations. Enter the single most descriptive word in an institution, and consider both full spellings and abbreviations. Beginning in 1997, the primary author's email address may be included when provided in the original source material. On completing a subject search, you can use the McMaster clinical queries to limit to the seven types of clinical studies. Choose to limit to a broad clinical category and to emphasize specificity, sensitivity or a balance between the two. Let's look at an example of how we might use this approach. 
first by searching for a subject and then by using the McMaster limits on the additional limits page. These choices are broader than the subheadings which are associated with that particular subject. The records from limit separates the Embase indexed records from the added Medline records which contain automated indexing based on the copyright statement. The Exclude Medline Journals limit finds the journals which are exclusive to Embase and not also available in Medline. These limits are not the same as duplicate removal. On the additional limits page in Embase we can see three lists that in Medline we might group together and call publication types. The methods of using these are the same but note that if you need to use more than one category you will need to apply each separately to your result and then OR together if required. Two lists of limits are available for age groups and experimental subjects and several tick boxes offer limits for gender, human, animals and animal models. But the question may be which of these choices are about people. If we limit to the later phases of clinical trials these are human only. But there is no easy way to remove the studies which are not only about people but also discuss animals or their tissues to some extent. There are two ways of finding materials which relate to conferences. We can search in the conference information fields in search fields or we can limit our search results to conference related publications from the additional limits page. Here I have done a search for a subject and I've used the publication limit conference abstracts which is usually on the additional limits screen to limit to the conference abstract. Frequently used limits may be brought forward onto the search page if required either for individuals or for entire customers. Here are the Embase limits on the additional limits screen including age groups, publication types, clinical trials, evidence-based medicine and others. Conference abstracts are available before the full proceedings get published and many citations never get published at all. Using conference abstracts your users can stay ahead of the most current research to track competitors, identify collaborators and make sure they have access to the latest developments. Conference coverage begins in 2009 for over 250 conferences with more than 100,000 conferences added each year. Conferences published in more than 2,800 key drug and clinical journals are included. Here is the conference abstract record and the beginning of the complete reference showing why we see this result. And if the conference material is published in a journal you'll be able to link to it either within journals at Ovid or via any other links. Digital object identifiers are available for many records if required. You can also create alerts for conference abstracts to keep up to date with these publications in a particular location or about a particular subject. Thank you for viewing our short presentation.